with freshman Sean Sellers doing a lot of this. And Jeremy Tyler, a lot of this. It was easy to forget about Francis Kiapwe this season, doing a lot of this. My confidence was low. Uh, I talked to a lot of people. I talked to the coaches a lot. This was my first time ever like breaking a bone or anything like that, so I couldn't run, jump. A lot of guys were blown by me, so that kind of brought my confidence low. While his fellow freshmen excelled, Kiapwe recovered, sidelined with what's become commonly called the dreaded black line. It's a stress fracture for Kiapwe in his left leg, much like the infamous Kevin Ware injury a couple of years ago at Louisville. I played on the stress fracture for like four or five months, and it was on the verge of breaking. And then once I came here, I got a physical, and the doctor said, you know, he got to shut it down because his leg's about to break. The guard had surgery in May, a titanium rod implanted. My leg's unbreakable. Uh, it's never going to break again. That's what the doctors tell me. But he wasn't cleared to play until just a few weeks ago. Entered the learning curve. When you're coming back from an injury, your early practices don't go very well. They never do. And, uh, and his didn't. You know, and I, I actually had him, you know, meetings with him where he was deeply frustrated, not feeling like he knew how to play anymore. The thing is, Kiapwe's situation actually isn't all that unique. A lot of guys go through that when they come back from injury. It's just that sometimes it's difficult to grasp and understand when it's happening to you. Fortunately, I've coached enough guys that have been through it. I tried to tell them that, hey, just trust me, it's going to come back. It won't take that long. He'll still have some more rough days, but he needed to see some evidence that he could be the same player he was prior to getting hurt. That evidence finally arrived this past weekend. Yeah, it was big. I mean, I haven't seen the ball go into the basket for a couple of games. The Indiana State kind of finally caught a break and went in. Uh, I'm so used to hitting big shots all the games that I played. Kiapwe buried two huge threes in the final minutes against Indiana State, securing maybe the most impactful win of Whitford's tenure to date. I kind of felt for him because I know how it feels. Um, you know, kind of not being 100% and then not having the confidence, you know, to go out and do the things you think you're capable of doing. He had lost his confidence, there's no question about it. It was important for him because he needed to feel what I was telling him. He needed to be able to identify and connect that there was some truth to that. And so he needed to see the ball go in. He needed to see himself play well. Which he did, with so much of his freshman season still laying ahead. Joel Godet, BallStateSports.com.